My name's Ed Morris and I'm Technical Manager for Altechnic. I'm here today to talk to you about PRVs or pressure reducing valves. Now, one of the big conversations and one of the big words that we always hear around PRVs is static versus dynamic. So what is static versus dynamic? Well, static control is the control of water when there's no momentum or when there's no flow. So when water's at rest, when all the outlets are closed, that's what we call static control. The other one, so dynamic, in the opposite to that is when we're controlling water due to its flow. So if someone was to open an outlet and the water was to flow through the valve itself, that's then what we call dynamic control. So the big difference is, is static is, is, the, is, the, is the stationary motion of water and dynamic is when the water is moving through the valve itself. So those are the two main differences to remember when we talk about static versus dynamic. Now, the design of the valve itself, and we're looking and now we're going to start talking about flow rate versus noise. We'll notice in this valve there's an incline design, and that incline means that we've got the sort of the, the cartridge on an angle. And that is to give a good flow rate through the valve so we get less head loss through the valve itself, but also to decrease the noise that goes through the valve. Um, there's a lot of imitation valves on the market, very similar to this one. This was the original one that was made, but there are plenty of coppers out there. But the reason they've copied it is because it works, and it's because it, you know, we, we designed it in a way to make it as best as it can be. Now, 10 to be on PRVs, if we start to get noise, there's two different types of noise we tend to get. We get a high-pitched squealing noise, which is generally because there's too much flow going through the valve itself. Um, or sometimes we get a very low rumbling noise and that's because there's not enough flow. So it's important as well that we size these correctly. They're not always necessarily sized on, on the line size, they should be sized on the flow rate that's designed to go through them as well. So, But the reason we, decline, we have that, that incline is, is to give it a, the best chance of a good flow rate with, with the least amount of noise. Now these valves, the 533 range from, from Altechnic and Cleffy, comes preset at three bar. Um, that is adjustable. On top of the valve itself, there's a, a brass screw in there. Uh, to increase the pressure, we turn it clockwise, and to decrease the pressure, we turn it anti-clockwise. And, and as this is a, a, a dynamically controlled valve, this should be done when there's an outlet open. So you open a tap, pull some water through it, start to adjust the valve, and we can see what pressures we set to there. So all pretty simple. So remember, the static dynamic is moving water versus stationary water. We have an incline design, um, is, to re is to reduce the noise and increase the flow rate, um, and they're all fully adjustable uh, on the top of the valve there, so we've got the adjustable right there. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.